Hey, what's up guys? It's Del Vinci, and today I'm making a video on my favorite VSTs to use when I produce music. I'm gonna just start right off the bat saying Contact, Alteria, and RC20, and Waves Cassette. But I'm just gonna make a beat using these plugins and kinda show you guys what I mean and just run through it. Okay, so a plugin that I use in almost every beat or actually a sound I use in all my beats is an electric piano. I just love the way electric pianos sound. They're just so smooth to me. Um, and this VST Stage 73 is modeled after an actual Stage 73 uh, electric piano. And they have a lot of really great sounds in there. My favorite sound I use in here is this one called Distortion Is Up. It's just a really like, uh, like low, wavy sound electric piano. There's a lot of other great ones in here too. Um, this one in here too. Um, Stage Dark I use a lot. It's just a really basic sounding one. But uh... So I love this plugin, and the other cool thing about this plugin is that if you run it through RC20 uh, and you turn up the space a little bit, turn down the noise, switch it to vinyl 2, and then you run it through cassette, which is a Waves Factory plugin, um, you go over here, you turn up the, uh, the wobble a little bit, and then the, um, the snap, which basically what the snap does is it makes it kind of give it like a DJ wobble effect like do you hear that like oh, I'll do it again huh? that so this button right here random snap is basically like a a thing that I guess it like it's a chance of like how often to happen so if you have it all the way to 100% it's gonna happen like quite often but if you have it down at like 10 it's not gonna happen quite as much kind of a little more rare but it's still gonna be in there so I like to set it up around that and now right here, this is kind of like a really cool, like sampley sounding electric piano right here that we got. So I'm just gonna play out a quick melody with this. Um. All right, that's pretty smooth. going to take this down an octave, I think. Pull that down. All right, next we're going to pull up contact, and I'm just going to, uh, so I, the, when I purchased contact, I believe I bought the complete beginner's edition it was like six hundred dollars i'll put it up on screen um i actually financed it at guitar center for, for six months so uh i paid like a hundred dollars a month for it for six months until i paid it off but honestly contact which is a great investment for me there's a lot of really great sounds in here um let's see what's a good sound that i like to use a lot um the one sound i really like in here is or one of my favorite sounds in contact is this thing called a uh, Scarby Rickenbacker bass, or I, th I think I did not pronounce that right, but um, there's this one preset in here called dub bass, and it's like a, it's like a really jazzy like bass. It's super dope. Like, I've never heard a sound like this in any other VST, which makes me love this VST, man, because it got these really great sounds that you can't really find nowhere else. So yeah, I'm just gonna play a bass line over the, under these chords real quick. Cool, cool. So, um, oh I'll, yeah, the reason why I was like looking at these notes because I wanted to make sure I was playing the correct I want to make sure the notes I was playing were corresponding with the bass notes I played in the chord progression, just so it sounds in key. And now 
I usually on like a bass guitar, I don't really put any, um, I usually won't put any uh, effects on it because well, this this bass guitar I feel like it sounds really good. Like there's a lot of really good low end and a little bit mid range that already is mixed pretty well. So I usually keep it the way it is. Um, next, I'm gonna add some strings to this, and I'm gonna show you a little secret I use when I mix strings. That's really pretty. <laughs> I like that. So, all right, this is a little trick I use with strings. Um, so, I actually use a flanger. A uh, flanger is kind of like makes stuff. I'm, I don't really know how to describe a flanger, but it kind of gives stuff like a wavy sound, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna pull up this waves flanger I'll be using. Just gotta wait for it to load. All right, so yeah, so basically the flanger kind of like makes it. I don't know if you hear that. You guys definitely should probably are familiar with the flanger already. But um, yeah, I just like put that on there a little bit on the strings to give it a little like synthy vibe. So, um, honestly, I turned the flanger down a little bit because for this beat, I kind of like the authentic string sound a little bit. But the uh, next sound I'm going to use is uh, another electric piano in this VST called Lounge Lizard. Now, Lounge Lizard, I only really like to use it for playing little, like, runs on the keys. Like, like if you hold down the sustain pedal with your foot all the way down here, uh, I can't really show it, but I have a sustain pedal for my keyboard. So when I hold it down and I play notes, the notes will keep going as long as I hold the sustain pedal. So that's a trick I do in a lot of my beats. I really love this sound, <laughs> but um, I love the sound of how this sounds, but yeah. But yeah, so yeah, that's another sound I really like to use. And next we're gonna get into the drums on this beat. All right guys, so for the drums, I'm gonna be using my newest drum kit, the Da Vinci Kit Volume 4. It comes with a bunch of really cool drum sounds I use a lot, uh, some melody loops I made too. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out this kit, I got a video on my channel previewing all the sounds within it. And uh, I also have a link in the description of how to purchase the kit if you guys are interested. But yeah, so I'm gonna start with a snare here. Um, I really like this snare a lot. Thank you. 
All right, now for the drums, like I don't really do a lot mixing wise. Um, usually, uh, in this in instance for this beat, I'll, I would usually put on just like a soft clipper on the master, so the kick doesn't um, um, you know, peak too much. <laughs> is in the Valhalla bundle uh, it's basically just like a chorus doubler uh, plugin but it has a lot of cool uh, presets in here uh, to basically widen out sound so I usually like to use this sometimes just to make sounds and give uh, have a little more like wider of a sound so in this is like I'm using it because like the bass and the electric pianos are kind of like mono-ish I want to make sure like the pianos are like more like widened so the bass has enough room to really you know, it has enough room in the low end, so it's, they're not clashing as much. So I'm gonna do the same thing here on the um, on this uh, uh, uh this second uh, lounge lizard layer too. So we kind of have like a pretty basic beat right here. Um, nothing too complex, pretty simple, but I really just wanted to make this to show you guys a little, a little tutorial on like what plugins I'm currently using. Uh, I hope any producers watching this found this video helpful. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these plugins, I'm gonna put the links in the description to get all of them. Um, yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content. Nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. Peace.